Okay, we are going to uh, build a book here in Book Creator. Just kind of a demo for you uh, to look at. Uh, create a very simple book here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open my Book Creator app. See, I've already got one book started here, but I'm going to create a new book. So we'll tap on New Book. Now I need to decide what kind of book that I want. This is the latest version. This is version 4.0 of Book Creator. Previous versions, you had these three, portrait, square, or landscape, that you could choose from. In version 4.0, they've added comics, the ability to create comics in Book Creator as well. Again, in portrait, square, or landscape. So it just depends on what you want. I'm just going to create a landscape book here. I like doing them in landscape. Tap on it. It will go ahead and open that for us. And the first thing we get is the cover. Okay. The process of adding items to your book uh, is, is very simple and it's repeated uh, throughout so it's even it's really good for students to get used to doing it. Okay. So I'm going to tap this plus sign. You'll see here that I can choose from photos, I can take a picture with the iPad right now, I can add drawings through the pen, I can add text, I can add sound. If I tap on these little symbols I can add a shape and there's some more shapes. Okay. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to add a photo Photos need to be in your camera roll, okay, or your, your photos on your iPad. I'm going to tap on that. I'm just going to tap here on moments because what I want is this image of these blue whales. Okay. Puts the uh, image on my cover. I'm going to stretch these corners so that it fills the entire cover. There we go. And it, as you see, it goes outside, and I could adjust it within if I want this whole tail in here, for example. It doesn't matter what's out there. It'll, it'll be okay. All right. Now I'm going to add some text here as well. So again, I click on my plus sign. Click Add Text. It brings up a textbook. done. You can see it puts the text there. Uh, it's probably not what I want it to look like. So with my text selected here, I'm going to tap on information. This is kind of my toolbox once I have things on the page. So I can increase the size. You see it's keeping that same shape but I can adjust Oops, if I get out of there, I can adjust the shape or the size of that text box. Uh, in there I can also choose a different color if I don't want black maybe I want a nice blue here will that work or a lighter blue nope I'll be darker blue if I want more colors yeah I can adjust that however I want I can apply it now I don't like that so I'm gonna go back to my blue apply that okay I like that so I've applied it Tap on that to get rid of that. So now I have my cover for my book. Okay. I can tap on this forward arrow. It takes me, as I create new pages, it creates basically two at a time. You notice that this is page two of three. Okay. If I don't have anything on a page and I just tap my information button there, okay, which again allows me access to tools, I can change that colored of the background. Okay, maybe I want a lighter bluish there. Okay. Apply that. So that's now in my background. I can tap off that. Okay. I can add more text here. done. Okay. Notice it came in the same color and size that I used or that I changed it to. 
so that I can keep that consistent now. Okay. So I've got my text. I'm going to add my photo of my killer whales here. I know it's there in my camera roll. Uh, let's see. All photos. There we go. See, that's a little bigger than I want. I can move it down if I want, but I also need, to, I know I need to make it smaller. If I want to center it somewhat, I can do that. So that's really um, all there is to adding things to pages. Uh, one cool feature that you can add is so I can tap here, add sound. You can add music from your iTunes library or audio bits that you have in there, or you can record directly. So I just want to be able to, to have somebody look at this book and have it read to them. So I'm going to start recording here. One of the most famous whales is the killer whale. And then I can drag that icon around on the page where I want. Now, with that sound icon selected, again, I can come here to the I button. tells me the duration. I can title it if I want. Oops. I missed that. Let me go back and get it again. Uh, actually, I guess I can't. If I want that just to read without being able to see that icon, I can make that icon invisible when we get to the, ed to the edited book or the saved book. I want people to be able to tap on it, so I'm going to turn that back off. Okay. Look at this. So I now have my uh, an image, my text, and my sound. Okay, I can go on to page three. Maybe. There we go. It's page three. Uh, again, I can choose, I'm going to select a photo here. Uh, this one, I'm going to use this baleen whale. I'm going to leave it a white background. If I decide, you know what, that's not what I wanted to do. I want that same page color background. I can easily go back and add that. Okay. I'm going to add my text. I want to edit that. I haven't done any editing. I just double tap on that text because I need to add a period here, for example. And done. Okay. And uh, you know, I may. Uh, I'm going to make stuff up as I go along here, but again, I want sound on every page, so I'm going to add sound again. This is a baleen whale. You'll see the the kind of stringy like things hanging down. That is called baleen. Some whales have baleen instead of teeth. And I can just keep building pages. Notice here, instead of going back and forth between the pages, now I'm going to I get a plus sign. So I'm going to add a page. And I'm just going to keep building my book. Again, if I don't like the shape of that text, I can adjust it. Okay. Also, maybe that's just 
you know, it's just the wrong size. So I'm going to go in here. Hang on, I'm going to adjust the size for this. Okay. Add my sound. Most beluga whales are white in color, although some may be more of a gray color. Now this has gave me my background. It's kind of remembered that background that I like now. These are sperm whales, among the largest of all the whales. This is a fin whale, a moderate sized whale. This is a humpback whale. If you've seen Star Wars 4, excuse me, Star Trek 4, The Voyage Home, this is the whales they needed to bring to the future.
I'm going to add, I'm going to use the pen tool here. And so I can select a pen width. I can also select a color. That we just here. Okay. The humpback will, it's called the humpback because of this little nodule here and also kind of here near its dorsal fin. And I'm going to take a video directly from within Book Creator. Oops. I'm going to switch the camera around so we see me, even though I don't know why. I hope you have enjoyed my book about whales. It was fun to learn about them. So you can see I can drop a video in here and again add other things and this I really want a little bit bigger smaller okay notice I can I can center it etc I can change the font if I want if I don't like that font I happen to like that one so I'll just leave it okay and I'm finished with my book okay if I want to look at my pages or I think I want to rearrange the pages I can tap on the pages icon here and it shows me all the pages and again I could redo those all here if I wanted to put them in whatever order I want, drag them in whatever order uh, click edit and then I can copy or insert etc okay. but I'm good with that so my book is done okay. so now what do I do with my book I click back on to my books notice that this is now it's called a new book it's obviously not what I want the title to be. So from the My Book screen, under this book, I'm going to tap on the Information button again. I'm going to title it. Or maybe I should name it what I named it on the cover. Okay, I list myself as the author. Shows me the size of the iBook file size, and we'll talk about what that would be in just a minute. Display settings. If you want side-by-side -side pages, single pages, I'm going to set that to single pages, and I'm good with that now. Okay. Uh, at this point, my book is ready. I can, I can go in if I just want to read it. I can open the book, and I can go through. We're not hearing the audio right now because I've got a different microphone hooked up, but I can navigate through the pages. Okay. So this is really nice, except I've got to have Book Creator at this point to read this book. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at now the export capabilities. I can export this book as an EPUB. Okay. If I export it as an EPUB, you can bring it into EPUB readers on a Kindle, on an iPad, uh, into iBooks into iBooks on an iPad. Uh, Windows has some EPUB readers available. You can also read them on EPUB readers uh, on the desktop. Okay? I can also export as a PDF. If I export as a PDF, I won't get my audio, but I'll get all my pages and my text. Okay? Or I can export as a video. So we'll just play through and make a video out of my book. I'm going to go ahead and export this as an EPUB. Okay? 
and I'm actually going to tell it I want it to open in or copy to in this point copy to iBooks so it's going to take my book there and my book is now open in iBooks and I can navigate through my book in iBooks by swiping the audio will play again we're not hearing it but you can see it's playing now and so forth so again book creator really simple way to create books